Sometimes I have to stop and think to remind myself that I'm an Olympic gold medalist. It's amazing because it's what every athlete is fighting for, especially for Olympic gold. It was something I always dreamed of. And when you achieve something like that, it's truly incredible. It was a very emotional moment, especially when I won my semi-final and I knew that I was going to win either the silver or gold medal. It was a tough fight with a Japanese fighter, as judo is a Japanese sport. I felt pressure, but I managed to throw her in the last 30 seconds. It was an unforgettable moment. Kosovo declared its independence in 2008 and has only competed in the last two Olympics. My Linda Kelmendi secured a slice of history for the newly recognised state when she won gold at the 2016 Games in Rio. That inspired both Distria Krasniki and Nora Gyakova to their own success in Tokyo four years later. From the moment my Linda won her medal, everything changed because we started to think differently about this sport. We saw that we too could achieve that success because we've all trained in the same hall. We've participated in the same competitions and training sessions. All three of Kosovo's Olympic medalists were produced at the same club in Peja and all under the guidance of coach Driton Kuka. My career as a competitor ended in 1991, one year before the Olympics in Barcelona. That was because of the war in the former Yugoslavia, which affected Kosovo. Winning the first Olympic gold was so special because it was the first time Kosovo was allowed to compete in the Olympic Games. We felt accepted by the International Olympic Committee. Without Tony, Mylena, Nora and I wouldn't have won our medals. He has coached us since we were very young and he's the best in the world. We have three Olympic champions living within 300 metres of each other. All of them were children who came to us after the war to have fun in our original little dojo. From that group of children whose first intention was simply to have fun, three Olympic champions have been created. Kosovo's gold medal winning judokas have helped secure funding for a new national training centre. And with Paris 2024 on the horizon, the hotbed of talent in Peja has no plans on standing still. I very much hope to be on the podium at the Olympics in Paris. We've just started our preparations for these games, so I'm feeling positive about it. We were the first to participate under the flag of Kosovo in competitions, and I'm very proud that we have represented our country with pride, and we've always given our best. I'm sure that Kosovo Judo won't stop here with just three Olympic medals. I think that if everyone gives their best here, they can become champions like us. Thank <laughs> you.